We're back from the uh, second epistle, Peter, chapter 2. We're starting chapter 3. This is a uh, second attempt on this one. I got like the first three paragraphs completely tongue tied, and I was laughing so hard at it that we just had to start over. So uh, here we go with chapter 3. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you in both which I stir up your minds by way of remembrance that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment of us the apostles and the Lord and Savior knowing this first that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lusts and saying where is the promise of his coming for since the fathers fell asleep all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. For this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was, being overflowed with water, perished. But the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word are kept in store reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men but beloved be not ignorant of this one thing that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us, word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will not come as a thief in the night. Yeah, I know that got wrong, because <laughs> we hear that one over and over. My apologies. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat the earth also and the works that are thereon shall be burned up seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of, a, of God wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat nevertheless we according to his promise look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness wherefore beloved Seeing that you look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace, without spot and blameless. And account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul also, according to the wisdom given unto him, hath written unto you. As also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things, and which are some things hard to be understood, which they that are un, unlearned and unstable rest, as they do also the other scriptures, unto their own destruction. Ye therefore, beloved, seeing you know these things before, beware, lest ye also, being led away with the error of the wicked, fall from your own steadfastness, but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To him be glory, both now and forever. Amen. And that is the end of chapter 3 and the end of the second epistle of Peter. And I will see you possibly tomorrow with a different one. It's about time for bed and... Uh, uh, Anyway, we'll see you later on another one of these books.